Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to place trades within a dome chart in the CQG desktop platform. So to start off, I would suggest opening up a new window. To do this, go to the More tab on the left-hand side of your screen, and click Add Page. Empty Page, and I'll name this page Dome. So once you have an empty page to work with, I would now suggest opening up your dome chart. To do this, click the Add a Widget button and scroll down to the Trade section. Now the dome chart in CQG Desktop is actually called the HOT or the Hybrid Order Ticket. It's a combination or a mix of multiple CQG specialized dome charts combined into one. But in theory, it is essentially a dome chart. So to open it, simply click on the HOT or Hybrid Order Ticket and now we have our dome chart. By default, this trade section right here may not be expanded. To expand it and gain access to these buttons, simply click on the arrows down in the bottom right. And as you can see, you can hide or show this trade section. In the bottom left, we can search the symbol we would like to trade with. And to the right of that, we have our symbol info. Now in the top right of our dome chart, we have the button for view and manage widget options. This is a three vertical dots. Now, if you have other widgets open on this page, this may be closer to the dome itself. The only thing I have on my page currently is the dome chart. So my view and manage widget options are all the way to the right. Just be wary of that. So if I click on these options, you can see I have multiple options that I can check on or off. In my opinion, the most important button here, which you should always have on, is the show, cancel all, or go flat button. And if I activate this, you can now see I have a cancel all or go flat button on my dome chart. This is not activated by default. I would suggest turning this on. One more small feature I'd like to add in the view and manage widget options is the ability to change where your trading buttons are positioned. Currently, I have my buttons positioned on the right, if I'd like to, I could put them on the left, bottom, or the top of my dome chart. This really depends on your personal preference. When you have a lot of widgets on the screen at one time, you may need to arrange this differently. But for now, I will keep this on the right side of my dome chart. As I've mentioned previously in other videos, this platform is extremely customizable and you can really cater it to your liking. When adding a dome widget, as you may have noticed, the only thing that opens is the dome itself. Traders may find it useful to open up a orders widget and a open position widget as well. This is purely preference based, but without these widgets open, you may be trading with the blind eye. So for my demo, I'll be showing you how to add these widgets as well. To add one of these widgets, simply go to the top left hand corner of your screen and click on the add a new widget button, the plus button. Once you have this open, scroll down to the trade section and underneath your hot and your trade buttons, you have the orders widget. Click on this widget and now you can see I have a separate tab open just for orders. If I wanted to view both the order widget and the dome widget at the same time, simply drag and click the orders widget to the right hand side of the window. And as you can see, I now have both widgets open. Now that we have the orders widget open, it's time to open up the opens position widget. Every time you do open a widget, you gain a add a new widget button. As you can see to the right of my orders widget, I have one here as well. So if I click on the add a new widget and scroll down to the open positions widget and click on it, I now have the open position widget open. And I can customize this even further if I want to view all three widgets at the same time. Once again, click and drag the opens position widget down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Let go. And now I have all three widgets open at the same time. Now that we have our interface customized to our liking, I'll show you how to place a trade within the dome chart. So if we head over to the left hand side of our screen in our dome chart, you'll notice we have the buy and sell and market buttons at the top. And right below that, we have buttons that adjust based on the price of the contract we choose. So if I choose above the market price, 
you can see I have a stop order or a limit order I can place in the long or a sell limit order in the short. If I click below the market price, we actually have the opposite. We have a limit in stop orders for the short position and we have limit orders for the long position. It is worth noting that buying a contract is denoted by the green buttons and selling a contract is denoted by the red buttons. So below the adjustable price buttons, we have the order types. You can filter your order types by stop limits or by stop orders. And to the right of that, we have the order durations. You can filter your order durations by the day, by the good till day, by good till time, fill and kill, or fill or kill. And below the filtering options, we have OCO orders, otherwise known as one cancels the other orders. And below the OCOs, we have the size of our contracts we are purchasing. You can manually set the size of your contract by adjusting the price, clicking the up or down arrows, or you can click one of the preset options, either by order size of two, by five, or by 10. So now to placing trades. To place a trade, all that you need to do is simply click one of the buy or sell buttons. I would first suggest adjusting your contact contract size. I'll change mine to two contracts. And for my example, I'd like to buy two contracts at the market price. I click the buy two at market button. I get a confirmation and I'll click place an order. And as you can see, a report comes up with the time I place my order, the type of order I place and the price it was placed at. And you can also check your order widget. Although I had multiple orders I've already placed, if you scroll over to the right, you can see the time that your order was placed. In my most current order, 1151 was the order I just placed. And if you go down to the opens position widget, you can see our order of two contracts is now in a open position. If you'd like to trade at anything other than the market price, you'll need to focus on the buttons below the market price buttons. So click on the dome chart at the price you'd like to trade with. I'll be clicking under the market price. And as you can see here, my long button adapts to the price I've selected and I can now place a limit order. I'll place two limit orders at this price. And now we can confirm this order by checking our orders widget. And as you can see, we have two working contracts at the limit. And as you can see here, the confirmation has gone through and my limit order was placed. And as I mentioned before, I activated the go flat and the cancel all buttons in the dome chart settings. And if I do click on the go flat on all, as you can see, I no longer have any open positions. And in the order widget, my order has been filled. For our final option that we have in the dome, we have the OCO, as I mentioned previously. To place an OCO order, first click on the OCO button. It'll turn orange. Then we can place our orders at the prices we would like. So first I'll place a limit order in the long. And then I'll place a stop order in the long as well. And once I place both of these orders in the orange button, now I can submit them. As you can see, it says submit to. And if I click, I get confirmation that I would like to place these orders. And if I place my orders, I now have an OCO in effect. As I mentioned before, this platform is extremely customizable. Anything I've shown you today has been merely suggestions in order to aid users with the best trading experience possible. This is not professional advice, nor does this reflect the actual market. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.